Hello, hello. So today we're up and personal. I am going to do a get ready with me. Uh, my brain is scattered. I've already done my skincare. It's dried. I am going to start with my new Cover FX blurring primer. I see I've forgotten my scissors already. How could I lose them? They were right here. Safety sealed. Okay, excuse me. Who among us has not done that? <laughs> oh, I just bought this mirror. Let me see if I could show you. Because I have it. Oh, I can't. I will show you when we end the video. But I saw it on Facebook. And it attaches to any surface. It's a 10x mirror. Lighted mirror. And it really does attach to every surface. Because I have a wood desk. And it's attached itself. And it's very, very strong. So hopefully I could see in it to do my makeup. I really like it more than I like the other one. Another thing is, I did an um, use my exfoliating, whoops, so much for attaching to everything. I did my exfoliating machine last night and I gave myself a little hickey right here. Oh, and one other thing. A couple of days ago, I was masking and I used this mask by Lancome Genufique. I had such a reaction to this thing. The smell was intense. And I know I should have taken it off right then and there, but I had or I ordered one and it was like $15 or something for one mask and I said I'm not going to waste it. But it triggered an asthma attack. It like made my skin like stingy for the last couple of days. Like it feels like it's stinging when I touch it. I will never purchase this again, ever. This is a no-no for me. See, expensive is not always the best. I have cheapy masks from uh, Amazon and I like them much, much better. So I'm going to try this blurring primer. I have the other one to it. It does feel like uh, silicone. I didn't even have pores until I was in my 60s. I didn't even know what pores were. I said, oh, that's what that hole is. That's done. And I'm going to put on my under eye not a primer, but the color fixer. I forgot the primer. Okay, I have to slow down my, uh, Grandchildren are outside planting in the garden today. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. So I'm waiting for them for any minute now to start fighting and screaming. And it's just, this is pilling a little. It's in the 60s today on Long Island. Absolutely beautiful. What a beautiful day. I am going to use my eye primer, if I can find it. Trusty glasses. I thought I had everything lined up, but obviously I don't. But I 
had a new primer. Yeah. Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base by NARS. I'm gonna focus. Wait a minute. I must be very close. There we go. I leave this in the, because um, I don't usually save boxes. But I leave this in the box because I really can't read the, um, well, I can read the tinted smudge proof thing, but otherwise it gets lost in all the other stuff that I have in my drawers. Now I'm afraid to touch this mirror that it's going to um, take off on me. I really like the mirror part, so if it doesn't stay, I might have to get a piece of glass for the top of my desk to stick it on. Because I, I really do like the mirror itself. Going on. Now, I've been naughty. And I bought a new palette. The Naked Reloaded palette. One thing I don't need is another palette. But yeah, I bought another palette. I haven't looked at it yet, except online. And it's pretty. This is like, um, almost like a material. And it's smooth, the letters are raised. It's pretty. Although I don't really care what the outside looks like as long as the um, shadow works. Ooh. I think I'm so close that I can't even. <laughs> I'm too close. Let's see. I'm gonna take my trusty Wayne Goss. I have a towel in my lap that uh, I wipe his brushes off with. And I'm going to go into the first color, this very light, light color. I know the jury is still out on using a primer and then a, a powder over it. But I do because I don't want the, the shadows to uh, be too pigmented. I like a very light wash of color. Okay, now I'm going to do the crease. The mirror fell again. Okay, don't believe everything you hear. While well, it's off, I'll show you. And it's you're supposed to turn this, and it's supposed to stick. Now I have to undo it and then stick it again. I can see this is going to drive me nuts now. You know, when I was playing with it, it worked perfect, and now it's decided to be mean to me. What was I up to? I'm going to do my transition color. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go into the second color here. I could read the names, but I'd have to put my glasses on and off. I have a lot of real estate up here, so I go high. I have such a high eyebrow, and I did before I had them tattooed, they, they were even higher. This side has gotten so wrinkled. I tell you, once you reach 
Once you reach after the age of 60, I started to age in dog years. Like every one year was like seven years. It was like an unbelievable rapid rate for me. I'm gonna do a crease color. What am I gonna do, what am I gonna do, what am I gonna do? Excuse me. I think I'm just gonna go in line and do number three. found this in my drawer. It's a Huda Beauty matte and metal. I think it's a liquid eyeshadow. I think you are. And I thought because this palette looks very simple to me, I would um, try a little metal. Let me see what the other side is. Yeah, that's the matte side. So I'm thinking, and I've never used this, but I'm thinking to go in thing I'm not going out today. I am not going out. And good thing I remembered some Q-tips because this is messy. Messy, messy, messy. <laughs> Remind me not to use this stuff anymore. <laughs> that, it just, I have no control over it. It's just going wherever it wants. tips on how to get it off of my that is some shiny stuff I'm trying to want I'm wondering how I'm going to get it off because it went higher than I wanted it to and it just like I say it's doing its own thing let's see if I have a with my crease color. See if I can. Nope. It's actually not going to. I see what I did wrong. I put too much on and then it went too high. Live and learn. Otherwise, it has a, a it's a pretty effect. <sighs> Do I even know what I'm doing? No. Not today. I don't. I'm just gonna. This stuff really a little goes a very long way. Good thing I'm not going out because this is a little bit sparkly for me. <laughs> and 
when I do the filming, the um, eyeshadow does not look as dark as it is in real life. So it may not look like I'm putting a lot on, but once I look in it, my mirror somewhere else, it's dark. Let's do the outer corner. And I have my little thing that I knock off my powder in because I hate it when it's all over. color had fallout and now I got the sparkly color on me that's why I don't like to put on my foundation before I oh what color am I using I'm using this dark brown in the middle I think that's the darkest color in the palette and I'm just doing the corners here I think this look, this sparkly stuff calls for a eyeliner. So I bought the uh, Grandiose Liner. Does it say who it's by? Maybe it's Grand oh, Lancome. Although now I'm having a hard time trusting them after that mask because that was just a very awful experience. I know my skin is all out of whack now. I just feel it. This, this is supposed to bend. I don't see how. I've almost given up on putting um, eyeliner in the waterline. It just does not stay for me. I try and try and try, but a few minutes later it's just gone. Come on, don't start shaking now because I know I'm messing up. That's as good as I can get that. Oh, that's where it... I think there's a ball bearing in here. Oh, there's a ball bearing up here. And that's what makes it... That's what makes it uh, tip. Okay, I'm going to do under the eyes. And what am I going to do under the eyes? I'm going to put a little... Uh, I swear to God, everything's laid out for me here, right in front of me. Another Lancome. The Ephraness Waterproof Long Lasting Under Eye Concealer. And this is the one I like. It's not heavy. I just put a little dot going to each side. better too. And then I'm going to take my artist brush. Not that one. I'm going to take this one with a little flat head on it. I like the artist brushes for this. They also do, a, the bigger ones do a good job on foundation and stuff, but I had actually put these away, and then I saw someone else using them, and I said, I gotta, I gotta get them out. And 
I actually like it better than the Beauty Blender. Now for foundation, I am going to use Chanel Vita Luminary Aqua and it's a ultra light skin perfecting sunscreen makeup. I was just looking at this and it doesn't move the metal stuff this uh, Huda Beauty matte and metal this is really stuck on there it's not moving I like that better because I find that uh, when I use one from a powdered one from the palette it does kind of get all over. You know, it'll flake down on my face. Now where am I going to put this? Okay. Put some on the back of my hand. I'm going to take my beauty blender. My dampened beauty blender. I have no place to go today. I was, um, I did run to 7 Eleven, but I wore my sunglasses as it was such a beautiful sunny day. I went to, um, I go to Macy's to have my uh, color matched on this, and I had actually gone in for the other um, the other one, the other type, and she said, "Oh no, you don't need full coverage. Just go for the light one." So I said, "Okay, thank you," because <laughs> I really do like light coverage. And I saw something I was supposed to do already and I didn't do it. Maybe I think I might have to write a list of steps that I have to do when I do my makeup. I want to... Uh, Isn't this cute? I got it on Amazon. And you put your beauty blender in it. I love that because it doesn't get all yucky on the floor. I had bought this. It's Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder for Under Eyes. I wanted to try this today because I haven't tried it. I hope I opened it. Yeah, it's open. So I just want to do my under eyes a bit. I have been using the um, IT Bye Bye Pores, but then I saw somebody that it said it wasn't, not that anyone's going to take my picture, but it's not flash, it gives flashback. And I did not know that. So I wanted to try a couple of other things. to see which it has flashback. Good, I remembered to set my under eyes this time. Now, I have the Anastasia Powder Bronzer. And I found this in my drawer today, which I didn't know I had.
Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty, right? First, I'm going to set. I was think I was going to use uh, creamy stuff, and I changed my mind. So I'm going to set the uh, foundation with the uh, it bye bye pores. I really love putting makeup on, but I hate taking it off. I'm even wondering if this this shiny one is gonna come off. The Huda Beauty, the metal color. <laughs> it's really stuck on there. Okay, now let's get to the bronzer. You can probably hear my granddaughters outside. Let's do Let's see in two or three. That's a nice, nice color. That's my favorite. Let's see. I don't like this little mirror as much as I thought I would. It's kind of small, so I can see like one, one eye at a time. <laughs> Let's see. Now. found this in my drawer, which I didn't know I had, and it's the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. That was a surprise to me. <laughs> so this is a much lighter bronzing color, and I thought, I'm just going to take it on my powder brush just try to give myself just a little more color. And then I'm going to try the blush, which you can see I've never used. It must be something that Allie M, Allie M's Beauty, I must have seen on her channel and I just wanted it. Then I forgot that is pigmented. Now, I don't know if on camera it looks like I have a lot on, but it really is very dark in the mirror. I'm trying to see if you can see. So I shall blame this one on Allie. And I think I brought all of my Charlotte Tilbury because of her. This is Super Size Me by Charlotte Tilbury. Thank you very much, Allie. I'm just gonna line. Just like. 
right, and then I have a new lipstick. I do have a new lipstick. Where are you? Okay. This is annoying. Is this it? That is not it. All right, maybe I should come back to the lipstick because right in front of me, right there. It's a Shishido Modern Matte Powder Lipstick. Modern Matte Powder Lipstick. It's not showing. What I like about this is it's magnetic. You hear that? That's so funny. And I think I probably picked the wrong lip liner. Yeah, I went too dark. For some reason, I've been chapped at the top up here on my lips. And no matter how much cream I put on, it just seems to be chapped. Now I'm going to use the Hourglass. Got a brand new one. What is it called? Hourglass Extreme Lash Mascara. And I like this for the, well, I'm going to use this. I don't, I haven't used it before, so I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to use this on the upper lashes and the, uh, the MAC Extreme Play Giga black, giga black lash on the bottom lashes. Woo! This is nice. It really is a good thing I'm not leaving the house because I do have the shiny color in my crease. I now know how I'm going to use it if I do use it again. I used too much and I went too close to the line, to the crease. And then once it's on there, it really doesn't want to move. It blended a little bit, but you can't remove it. It's just stuck there. I'm just going to do one coat of lashes. That's nice. Caution, Extreme Lash Mascara, it says on here. Okay. A little zipping on the bottom. This uh, is, is so thin. I just recently bought a backup of this because it's perfect for the lower lash. I used the Clinique, but it uh, flaked under my eyes. This one, I believe, is waterproof. It doesn't say, but I thought it was. It doesn't say. Maybe my backup is now waterproof. I'm not sure. I'm going to take a little bit of Glowplexion. Thanks, Allie. So I know that came from Allie M's Beauty. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to or not. But I think I'll use the Beauty Blender. So I'm not sure if you used it. 
and I don't usually use things that are so shiny. This side's not bad, but the other side is really wrinkled. And I can't see so good in the mirror on this side. But on this side, it looks really skin-like, natural. I like it. I just might try to uh, use that from now on. And I think I'm finished. A little setting spray. I use the uh, Scandinavia, the makeup finishing spray since Wayne Goss had said it was so good. Oof, I just keep myself a really good shot right in the eye. I oh. usually use that before mascara, I forgot. So I think we're done. Uh, I look for today. I know I messed up on this side in the crease. Oh, I didn't do under my eyebrow. I knew I was forgetting something. Let's see if they have a color that goes under there. Not really. They have a... On this side, there's like a... The third one is like a... No, over here. Oh, this one is like a shiny gold. Let's try that one. to go over to the silver. I changed my mind and I'm using this silver, silver shiny color. They don't seem to have just a white shiny color to put under the brows. Instead, I am going to use the little tiny bit of the glow plexion. That's better. Now I might not be even because I cannot see. I really can't see in this tiny mirror. I'm not I'm gonna have to get something different. Now I just want to clean up the eyebrows. I'm gonna have them make an appointment to have them darkened. It's been three three years since they were touched up, and I think they need another touch up. So. That's my second attempt at a get ready with me. Thank you for coming to my happy place because I really enjoy having everyone here. It's been fun. So, happy trail.